so challenge eight. Victory condition is score. Difficulty is monarch, also known as easy mode. Just kidding. Um, actually, monarch took me a little while to beat when I first started playing as well. Uh, starting era ancient, so it can't cheese any late game diplo victories for instantly. Uh, map size standard, obviously that's fine. Map type, we can use anything we want. That factors into strategy. Um, speed normal, okay. Interesting set of requirements. We cannot abuse the lucky huts, luck boxes. This should always be required in Hall of Fame games. This should be a mandated rule, but they're not thinking uh, straight, so they actually usually force us to keep them on rather than off. Um, no vassal states. Not sure how this really matters. I guess that we can't chain vassal and get a really high victory through domination or something. I guess that's what it is. And then uh, one city challenge. So... There's a couple options that we could pursue here. Um, the most common and obvious one is to go for an Apostolic Palace religious victory. Uh, another possibility is to go for Conquest. I can't picture anything else winning fast enough to have the scores not drop. So that's all I'm going to say about that. And unfortunately, if you look at Challenge 9, which we'll be doing next, it's like a Boreal quick game speed on uh and also we're an AP win. So we're gonna have to be doing back to back AP wins here. Probably not the most well thought out um set and doing them right after each other, but that's how it is in challenge eight. Anyway, let's do this. I already have picked my opponents. I am going to be Ramesses of Egypt. Uh, my opponent could be Zara. Zara I'm picking because he has an innate plus two towards the humans which uh, most AIs do not. Gandhi is similar. Mansimusis also likes you. Uh, Hammurabi, Hattie, Lincoln round out the uh, populace here. And the good thing about this setup is that they are all high peace weight leaders. Out of all of these, only Mansa, Musa, and Zara are willing to declare it, please. They probably will not do that, however. And if they do, I can just restart. So everyone's going to like everybody in a big happy party, and uh, that's going to make it very easy to go for the AP win. Uh, obviously Pangea here, I want to be able to find everyone early if I'm going for an Apostolic Palace win. Uh, climate Temperate, yeah, I'll leave it at that. Shoreline, solid shoreline, why not? Uh, since Barbarians are not required to be on, they are off. Need to reduce the luck factor garbage. Permanent Alliance is irrelevant, but why not? We'll leave them on. One City Challenge required, Lock Modified Assets required, Vassal States, no Villages, both required for this format. And once again, we are going to cut events. Even though a random lux, uh, I won't finish that, but a random event could easily uh, wind up causing somebody to win this format earlier and thus get a higher score. Events in Hut should never be on in Hall of Fame games. I hope you guys are paying attention. Anyway, yeah, Hall of Fame knows how I feel about that, but they haven't come up with any good counter arguments, and they keep the rules the same. I guess that's just the way of life. Hey, I've seen much worse league run organizations. Hall of Fame has a lot of good in it. Especially since it's not exactly like they are running high salaries from it or anything like that. Anyways, we are going to try to Oracle Theology. And because of that, we are going to go with, with a couple more map regenerations. I'm not looking for anything absolutely blowout awesome here, like triple gems. That's not really a big deal. I just want a decent commerce start. That has a text rel that a text that the Egyptians can use right away, so I don't have to research any, and I can work with that. Um, the reason I want good commerce, I want to be able to oracle, and that's you can pretty reliably get oracle for uh, theology on monarch, but it's no guarantee, and because it's no guarantee, I just want to make sure I get it, and that means at least one commerce resource. It doesn't have to be spectacular. Ooh, but the stone start is tempting. Because another thing we can take abuse of here is wonders. So, we're going to give this a shot. Um, if it fails, well, it's not like I can just, uh, can't just restart the game. Um, yeah, I'm gonna actually going to send my uh, starting warrior out to explore. What tiles he finds doesn't really matter. I'll just leave him on auto. Uh, Probably going to want to ignore the chaos for the early game. What do you need for theology? You need writing, you need, um, yeah, you need writing and monotheism, as well as 
well, the priesthood for the oracle, <laughs> if you want to oracle it. And can we get horseback riding out of my face, please? No. Well, whatever. Haha. -ha. Yes, we can. Fastest way to writing. Actually, um, we can use priesthood. We could use animal husbandry. And uh, we probably want at least mining. Do I have any open things to mine? Only one. So, actually, but mining's on the path to masonry. This is interesting. I think gambling a little bit is in order on this game. Just because we do want to get some of the early wonders. So, what I'm going to do here is open up mining. Then mysticism to get a tech discount on masonry, which we do need for monotheism anyway. And, um... Then we'll go over to Animal Husbandry, or do I want to start with Animal Husbandry and then do those things? I think that's a little better for Tile Yield, so we'll do it that way. After that, um, let's see here. The real question is whether I want to hit up Writing or Mono next. Well, I'll see what I feel like when I get there. How about that? We're off, finally. <laughs> finally passing up turn zero. It's useful. <sighs> Borders are about to expand. Hopefully this isn't like my other game with the horse archers where I don't even meet somebody. <laughs> what was that, challenge three or something? Okay, Cesaro's near us. He's not starting off at pleased, unfortunately. Occasionally he'll do that, but whatever. You know what, I th I'll go writing first, and the breaker there is because I can open borders and I will start getting rewards from that. Alright, we've met Lincoln. No horses for us, not that I was expecting horses. And okay, we'll go ahead and improve this. We don't have anything else to build, so we might as well build our one garrison warrior right now. And I guess I could have built a second worker, but I don't think that uh, hammers that early are as important as growth so that I can build my wonders. And I do have animal husbandry. I think uh, just going to improve the uh, cows is a better first move, though. I can worry about the road to hook up the stone later. As in, I'll get more worker turns total this way. Alright, there we go, Hammurabi has been met. And if you watch, these guys should all be pleased or cautious with each other. Yeah, they all like each other. So, that's fine. Why did I road that? I don't know. That was a misplay. Um, hopefully it doesn't matter too much, but we shall see. It's not like I'm getting a lot of commerce here, no matter what I do. Which is why this is somewhat risky, but it does depend on the tech path that AI choose as well. Yeah. I actually don't have a lot for a second worker to do. I'm not sure I ever want to get a second worker. So we'll just go barracks for now. Until I can start on Stonehenge. Unfortunately, uh, not going to have masonry up in time for Stonehenge. But yeah, wonders are a big part of score, and therefore I'm going to go for them. And oh yeah, I'll be able to road over to this stone and improve it uh, post-haste for some happiness. And obviously I'll just be settling great people since I don't have anything else to do with them that's worthwhile. Alright. Um, yeah, I can throw a turn of mining onto this hill. This turn, because then I could use up one half movement and uh, start improving this stone right away on the following turn. And okay, I decided I would go writing for open borders with everybody, our close borders, I don't know, our open borders have brought us closer together or whatever. Then I want to go priesthood to start on the oracle. Then I'll go monotheism to finish the oracle. In the meantime, what do I sink my hammers into? Probably pyramids, honestly. Alright, Stonehenge is in, not surprising. Or, uh, yeah, I can just go for everything. We'll go for everything. It'll be one of those kinds of games. We'll just try to noob out the wonders. And what happens? We reload and restart. Alright, we got our stone hooked up. Excellent. 
Yeah, it looks like I'll have the spare hammers. Probably don't really need a... Probably don't really need the, um... Library from writing anyway, so... I'll go ahead and build pyramids next. And then, since I'm going to be getting open borders soon anyway... I'll just start routing towards, um... Lincoln here. And yeah, I can revolt into representation. Well, more like switch into representation, since there will be no revolt. I am spiritual, so once the pyramid's complete, I'll be good there. And yeah, that's a fairly early... Uh, well, not really that early. Judaism. We're going to open borders with absolutely everybody, and people probably won't dislike each other or have worst enemies, so I probably won't get a lot of requests to stop trading with worst enemies. Yeah. Uh, American Empire, open borders. This will give me some trade routes. Well, a trade route, which is good enough. For some reason, Zara is under expanding, which normally he's the, one of the best leaders for quick expansion. And yeah, on this difficulty, and on most difficulties, if you sell out for pyramids like this, you're going to get them. And that will be the case here. No way a monarchy I guess pyramids at like 1800 BC. Just That doesn't happen. Don't have a lot else with my worker, so I guess I'll explore a little bit. Why not? <laughs> it's not like there's barbers that can kill him, so take advantage of that right there. But I do want to keep him around, because I'll eventually have something to do with him, I'm sure. Maybe um, start a road towards the gold or something. AIs yeah, can handle the rest for me in terms of roading up their territories. Might want to get a second scout out just to see more of the land. Who founded Buddhism anyway? I don't know, I haven't met him yet. There we go, Gandhi. Good old Gandhi. Notice no worst enemies yet, that's excellent. Oh wow, okay. Well, since I have the um, spare hammers, apparently, we'll build a library, sure. And oh yeah, I was going to revolt to representation. Give me some happiness. Population is probably the biggest component of score in this game. In fact, a lot of people have been looking for sushi. Uh, as it happens. And this will accelerate my research. That's good. The real question here is, can I make Oracle in time? On a lot of difficulties, it would have gone already. Um, there's a chance it would have gone already on this difficulty. So I'm not even going to mess around here. I'm going to switch to it right... now. Oh, it's gone. Well, you know what? We're going to try anyway. I'll just run a couple scientists or something and try to power out theology. If I don't get that first, then it's grounds for a restart. But I could probably get away with it without that for now. <laughs> Barracks, because I don't have anything else to build, and... Emphasize the science! <laughs> 40 beakers a turn, alright. That should give me a shot at making this. And what's the Melanese already plotting war? Are you kidding me? Did someone declare on him? I don't get it. A couple of people are already at pleased with me. That's useful. And yeah, why well, not? We'll take a shot at the Temple of Artemis as well. I'm going to need a religion. And actually, I'm going to want to um, build the Apostolic Palace in a religion that nobody else is running. That's very important. Because that will allow me to be the only person who's eligible to win a diplomatic victory. And uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much what you're going for with it. Do I care about organized religion? Yes, because it will help me build things more quickly. And uh, some people like it. I think Hattie likes it. So, you know. <laughs> okay, fine. We'll get a second worker. That's uh, apparently nothing else to build of worth. So, Oh, but I really hope we're still working on the specialist so we can work. Can I not run another guy? No, apparently not. We're just going to have to stick with this then. Because otherwise we shall starve. And I do want to grow, but um, it's not the instant priority. Pretty good chance of a scientist here. Reasonably fast second great person, all things considered. And it is a profit, which isn't too useful. But it's more hammers, some more research due to representation giving me a lift. And it's better than nothing, so whatever. 
Okay. And I'm going to want to win this by like, well, let's see here. What am I at? 69 for population. Yeah, so my current score is 275. If I won this turn, it would be 23,580. And I want to try to get that up into the 30,000s, which would be somewhat competitive. There are some people who have, I don't think anyone's broken 40,000 yet. So uh, if I get 30,000, I'm doing well. Anyone found Christianity yet? And this is going to be slowed down somewhat by the not founding of Christianity, but I've, uh, people have found that growing is actually better in this format and winning later than winning early. So the fast oracle is not as important as it normally would be. So I can probably get away with this. Plus, I really don't want to run a lot of these games. These are probably the least exciting games you can play, <laughs> to be honest. Like, I'm not even kidding. They're not exciting games. You know, let's build a few warriors here. Maybe I'll switch over to monarchy and just grow like crazy. That's not off the beaten path. Yeah, and uh, after theology, I won't need a lot of research. Um, it will be a problem if I uh, found theology here. I'll found a Christianity, and then he adopts it. So, uh, but I probably should have done. And what I'm going to do is temporarily cut the road access, I guess. No, I'll just take my chances. Whatever. Alright, I do get Christianity. <laughs> I guess, Sophia. Yeah. We'll grab pottery, we'll grab bronze working. Um, and then we're just going to be looking for wonders for a little while. Uh, and yes, mathematics. <laughs> you will just sit tight and let the other religion spread around a little bit. Alright, excellent. Having founded Christianity first, I can probably get away with putting off Apostolic Palace for some time. What I do want to stop doing now, though, is farming great people. It is right now... Uh, up, 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 up. It is becoming more important that I work hammer tiles and build some wonders. Oops. And I'm wondering, there's already a lot of like here, if I can get away with swapping religion. And maybe I can do that. It will, uh, as you'll see, it'll cut the build time on Hagia Sophia, which is useful. Yeah, no, nobody likes me for the moment, but um, that can all be fixed by switching into their religion. Good, we got pottery in. Probably not important just yet. We're going to want to grow soonish, but I just want to keep roading, uh, getting ready to mass chop. I do want to save uh, save it until math, because math is pretty close now. Maybe I can even trade for it. Nope, nobody has any technologies to trade. Ah, good. Lincoln went Hinduism. Ideally, they spread Hinduism to me. I switch into Hinduism after building Apostolic Palace, and enough people in the world like me while not running the AP religion for me to win the game, that would be the best outcome for me. I'm going to be building lots and lots of Christian missionaries soon, but I don't want to force anyone into that religion just yet. And, okay, um, we'll, I'll actually start mining hills now, but I'll hold off on anything else until later. Apparently we do have copper, but if anyone declares war on me, I'm dead, so... You know, whatever. I don't, I'm not going to bother building military in a game like this. Oh, nope. We got a couple off religions. Well, it doesn't really matter. Um, I really only need one fairly large civ, maybe the Americans, to vote for me. Although they're one of the few that have border tensions with me, so maybe not. Maybe that's not the best move. Maybe that's a noob move. We shall see. It's a new move right there. It's a new move. Addy has no worst enemy. Apparently Mansa dropped his war plans. Very typical. And yeah, some of the other AIs are getting maths, but nobody... Oh no, people do have um, alphabet. Can I get the old maths? No. No, because it's a monopoly tech. Her, 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 her. <laughs> Seriously, AIs, you guys suck. And I'll just fortify these guys on tiles where they can chop and farm at the same time. 
and that should be good enough. It's all right. A couple people more will have math soon, and that'll be uh, good enough for me. Granary, yes. Then we'll go with tap the apostolic palace, and might as well throw these in because they will add to my hammer totals. Yep, go ahead and chop that too. Okay, someone's got to be willing to trade me math now. Nope, no one that doesn't have uh, that's willing to do it. I don't want to give theology away. <laughs> that I do not want to do. There we go. Confucianism found that in a distant land, you know, whatever. More religious strife, the better. Um. Is there anything else that's important? Wonders, really. That's the only other thing that matters now. So we're just going to go with uh, building choices that allow us to use wonders. Um, these should be good. That'll open up a lot of different wonders for me. In fact, no, I'll want to build these before because that'll speed me up. But yeah, I'm just going to chop a bunch now. be nice if someone sent me religion. Whoa, whoa, no backstab. No whammy. Yeah, I'll probably go no state religion, organized religion. That way uh, they'll like me for sure. And um, I can't stand uh, Christianity much longer, honestly. Ooh, do I want to shrine this? I'm thinking not. I, I'm thinking I want to control the spread as much as possible. So we're not going to shrine it. And I am I farming? Well, no, I'm not. <laughs> Noob. Sorry, but I just can't take this seriously. Now, uh, any trades available? Yeah, but I kind of have to trade things I don't want to trade. Although I could just gift everyone theology for some fair trade after I've um, spread, or after I've built the wonder that I care about the most, which is Apostolic Palace. So that's not a possibility to completely rule out either. And yeah, then I'm just going to want to get some votes. I have to send at least one to every sieve. <laughs> Yay, I vote for myself. <laughs> Go figure. Yeah, I'm going to want to send the, at least one missionary to every civilization in the game. Starting with, uh, I guess, the close by ones. And then I'll want to spam spread it um, to uh, one person who likes me the most. It doesn't really matter who that is, but it would be nice if it's uh, someone reasonably close. Maybe Zara. Maybe I can work up with Zara. Actually, yeah. Um, by switching over to non-state religion plus theology, I could probably get Zara's vote. And then uh, whoever else I can get to vote for me as well would be uh, pretty effective. We're just going to math boost chop these things out. Um, yeah, Hanging Gardens is still available. How about that? And since I have tap now, I might as well go trading things around. Can I get this? No. For seriousness, this is annoying. Um... Theology for Alphabet. This should at least uh, open some things up for me. We'll try to get a little bit of fair trade with her. Um, there's always gold gifting, too. can run my slider down. Ooh, I will trade for uh, some currency. Or should I trade for code? A lot of people don't have that either. I think currency's better. It's the stronger technology. So I'll go ahead and do that. Plus, I can trade that around, too. Um... Let's see, I can trade for our Monarchy from Gandhi, and Ironworking from somebody else. Not that these things are worth a lot, but technologies are worth um, points, and that's not to be forgotten. Alright, Zar is already up at pleased, despite being a heathen relative to me, and me being a heathen relative to him. <laughs> that's good to know. Very useful. <laughs> uh, oh, right. 
I need to farm those tiles because I'm going to want a suicide grow too in the future. <laughs> I like it. Hanging gardens instantly. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> it's an additional pop right there. And uh, then I guess I'll just go to research until I can get my next wonder in the queue. Well, since I traded for iron working, I might as well turn around and trade iron working for other things. Sure. And, um... I, there's a lot of backwards junk that I can trade away to you to get sailing and 20 gold. And it's um, liking me for trading you extra stuff. Alright. Get some wonders. And now what am I up to? If I won this turn, 23,568. Yeah, this is going to be pretty static, I think, unless I uh, drastically change my strategy here. Ooh, definitely want to pick up a lighthouse. More food, more growth. And, um, no, that's not time for that. It's time for some Christian missionaries. I'm going to need to get this all over the world. I think I want to send them to the more distant lands first, actually. That would make more sense than the closer lands. And, uh, yeah, chopping them won't hurt, certainly. So let's chop them out. Let's get lots of them. Oh, man. Come on, Hattie. Don't be like that. Can't we just have a peaceful game? Looks like Gandhi's one of the further civilizations, so we'll throw one over there. Do I want to try to spam for these wonders? The answer is probably not, although I can go with um, free religion. Although free religion's probably not the best, in honesty. Currency for calendar, care to negotiate, not yet, not yet. Ooh, a phone call. Let's see, who this is from? Hey, an 800 number. Rejected! Owned. <laughs> what does H.C. Bailey say? No, I don't want to give you my money. There we go. <laughs> That's my answer. <laughs> Except this gift. And, um... I could do a stone trade to somebody, too. Is there anyone west of this? Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six... No. So you just uh, dump off a dude there. Hey, hey! I have a message. I wonder who it's from. Perhaps the number 800 number that just called me. Nothing adds excitement to these games like this. Care to negotiate? How about I give you this for nothing? In fact, it's time to gift everybody something for nothing. For nothing. How about you take this for nothing? Yay. Douchebaggatry abounds. No, um, chop that. And it looks like I will have some dead time until I can gift those over, so... What do I build in the dead time? Um, I build research until I hook up that gold. And then I build, um, what is it? Shwedegon Paya. Maybe the AI will beat me to it, and maybe I will not care. Please accept this gift. Yeah, look at that. Plus four trade relations. Awesomeness. It's going to take forever for these guys to get over there. Go ahead and... Uh... Oh, it is mined. Okay. Oh, papaya it is. I like papaya. It's tasty. should probably build a road since my dudes feel inclined to go over that direction for some reason. My men. <laughs> uh jeez. Okay, that's my warrior, so... Nobody's in position yet. Who likes me the most? Well... Are you already in theology? 
No, you're not. But that can be arranged. Um, Hattie likes me too. Oh, she's the oh, um, orange empire, <laughs> right? I was looking for the Egyptian colors, but no, I'm actually Egyptian, so that's not going to be what happens. And okay, if we were to win this turn, what score do we get? It's actually going up, just for now, though. That's not going to be true forever. So we got to uh, get as many wonders as we can, get as much pop as we can, and then call it. Um, drama. I'm not thinking I'm going to be able to get access to any other wonders. Maybe uh, Chicken Itza, but I don't know. Probably not. So if I go drama, I can just grow. And if I could have gotten civil service, I could grow too. Well, there we go. I'm just going to give some more gifts. Is there any like true hatred going on here? Doesn't look like it here. Except a gift. Yeah, even without me being a heathen, I'm not really being disliked here. But the biggie is going to be getting the tech stuff and civic stuff. That's how you get people to like you. And it unfortunately looks like Hattie is the best bet. Because uh, the organized religion already accrued. The other guy I could get is Zara. But he's got the close borders thing going on, so maybe not. Okay. Gift here. Um, go over there and chop. Ah, oh, just not in range. Yeah, even if they're in uh, theocracy, you can uh, you can gift them something and they'll build it. <laughs> you can gift them a uh, missionary and they'll they'll spread the religion, thereby ba bypassing the normal restrictions of theocracy. I know it's kind of cheesy, but. Hey, that's all the Apostolic Palace is about, right? Is cheesing. So, why be any different? Okay, let's look at our members. Uh, Zara is the only other member, as you can see right now. But uh, those guys are going to be too as well, or soon as well. So, um, really. I have one, two, three. I just need to get one to Hammurabi and Lincoln yet. And then I can start mass gifting. Now, I don't want anyone to switch into it because then they'll vote for themselves. Whereas right now they will be voting for me only because they have no alternatives. Which is a, a big advantage to the Apostolic Palace over the UN when it comes to diplomatic victories. Only in the Apostolic Palace can you uh, set it up so that only you are an eligible candidate. It might actually be worth my while to build a workboat and get that uh, fish improved. I'll get more health that way. Is there anything else I can build that's useful? Is a wonder worth it? Probably not. My score's starting to drop now. And I'm just going to want to end this game as soon as possible, so... There you go. You, I can gift something to you instantly. Hmm. What's he at? He's at plus eight. Oh, if I could get rid of the border tension, which I can't. Um, I could go for some resource supply with you. Please accept this gift. You might vote for me. And then the other one is probably Zara. We'll go for Zara's vote. And the other thing we have to hope they don't do is mass spread the religion, because that would suck. And I probably should have been microing where I spread the religion also. Might have been a misplay on my part. Oh, whatever, just automate. Well, if you insist, certainly. That will uh, bring up your appreciation for me. And the other thing I can do is after drama, I can turn my slider off. And uh, that should help out as well. Ah, there we go, Parthenon gets constructed. Excellent. <sighs> I 
Okay, I really need to make a commitment here to who I'm going to be spreading the religion to I and mean, who I'm going to get to vote for me. The Malanese, um... Malanese are very doable because I gave them tribute. In fact, they're one of the ones I really want to uh, get to vote for me. It'll be very easy. Um... Hattie... Hattie's a yes. I can get her to go organize a religion, and she'll vote for me. But she's far away, so that makes her a bad candidate. America... Ooh, I have the technological discoveries with America. And they have the most cities. Maybe I'll try to farm them. Alright, well, it's time to get out of the heathen religion, and I don't have any others. So we go no state... And, uh, yeah. Keep plus four trained. Zara, I can probably get to like me also. Reason being, oh no, it's going to be hard without, well, we'll try. But I think we want to get Mansa first. Hey, Mansa. Please accept this gift. And ouch, that didn't help at all. Well, shucks. <laughs> shucks you. Shucks be to you. <laughs> Any other bad puns? Whatever, we're just going to feed America because they're close to us. Go. Whoops. Whatever, I don't want to micro you. You get automated. Great library is done. That's, uh, whatevers. We can gift both of these. I just hope he is one of the ones that have a built-in plus one. I do get the plus one for tech discoveries, at least. And then hopefully nobody else decides that they want to spam the religion around. Looks like the Malanese did uh, start doing that. But I can probably get something out of them. Are there any members or non-members left? No, everyone in the game is a voting member. Hmm. Hattie's votes are up. But I can use Hattie, so that's fine. Oh, she's already free religion. T oh, no, that's not. That's me. Yeah, because I'm running organized religion, she'll already vote for me. So she's an excellent candidate. If she spreads religion around, even better. In fact, I'll go ahead and send another one over to her. Who else is close? Gandhi's close. Lincoln's close. But these are just displayed values. They might actually pick me already. That's the hope, anyway. Because, uh, yeah, total score would drop to 2-2 two, two now. In fact, I think it's time to start growing. Grow as much as you can. And, yeah, I'll build a theater. That should allow even more growth. With less slider investment. And, oh, geez, they just sent me <laughs> some, uh... Judaism, that's not ideal. Yeah, I kind of have to uh, rely on the American vote here. No, we are not converting to Judaism. Unless asked, in which case I'll, re I'll flip into it and then back out of it again. <laughs> they also said Hinduism. Well, how about that? But yeah, now I can just run 10% uh, slider for every single... Uh, or for two happiness each time. And let's just hope I've recruited enough. Uh, why can't I gift? The only possibility I can think of is that she's already built the maximum number of Christian missionaries. That's interesting, certainly. He's There's just no way he's going to vote for me. Well, let's see what happens. Ha, ha, ha.
Oh, there you go, I win. Okay. So only Zara and Hammurabi opted not to vote for me on the first Christian uh, Apostolic Palace victory vote. Everyone else voted for me. I knew Hammurabi wouldn't. I figured Zara wouldn't unless I switched into the theology. Yeah, there you go. Went over by quite a bit. I could have actually gotten away with one other person not voting for me. Except for Mansa Moose. Apparently I needed his vote. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, look how big my portrait is compared to the rest of you. You guys are all inferior to my greatness. So, uh, yeah, that's Challenger 8. I'm not going to place well here. I'm not going to care about that I didn't place well here. I will try to get my ranking up in some of the earlier games, but this is just one of those ones that it's just not fun for me to go for. <laughs> you sit with one city and don't do much. Your outputs really don't matter a lot, and uh, you just win on minimal effort. So, okay. <laughs> Last across the board and virtually everything. Excellent. Did get a fair few wonders. And, uh, yeah, there you go. 22,000. And, uh, the winning time is somewhere in the 30,000s. And it involves AP. Shockingly. Nope. So, good job. We win. Great to be us. I'm gonna go ahead and save this so I can submit it. And I will see you guys in Challenger 9 for... Hopefully, uh, more of the same. <laughs> At least Challenger 10 will be interesting. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Me and team, signing off.